survivors of last evening's attack in Isiolo are nursing bullet wounds at the Isiolo Level 4 Hospital. Our security and political leaders pleaded with the residents not to engage in revenge attacks. Ketian's Karandari was in Isiolo, where eight people were killed in yesterday's conflict between the Samburu and Turkana communities. Protests rent the air at Ngarimara in Isiolo County. Anguished residents protesting the killings of eight people Tuesday night inside the Buffalo Springs Park. The eight were shot dead in a tribal conflict believed to be between the Turkana and Samburu. The fatalities are believed to have been from one community. <laughs> The Isiolo Marsabit Road was a no-go zone for the better part of the day as agitated residents from one community blocked the road. It took police intervention to restore normalcy and allow stranded motorists who had been kept waiting for hours to continue with their journey. Peter Ekuleo is a distraught man. His 25-year-old son, Paolo Mze, is among the eight who lost their lives. A visibly angry Ekule who accused the government of turning a blind eye to their plight. Survivors of the incident are nursing the bullet wounds here at the Isiolo Level 4 Hospital. Philip Loyolo and Francis Eria were shot at by their attackers. <laughs> Most of them had gunshot wounds, save for one whom we are taking to theater. And uh, he sustained a fracture on the larger bone on the arm. One of the victims, Leper Kadir, a member of the rival community, says he was attacked along the Ngarimara area as soon as the attackers realized he was from the rival community. Isilo County Commissioner Wanyama Musiamo says it took them close to two hours to retrieve the bodies from the thicket at the Buffalo Springs Park. Part of the investigations revolve around the fact that the two communities were grazing their heads quite a distance from each other and it is not clear how they clashed. What we discovered or what I discovered with my team is there was a confrontation of these two people but they were not grazing at the same time animals were in the park but you could see a difference of about 18 to 20 kilometers from one herd of cows cattle belonging to one group and the other belonging to the other group and that is what we are investigating we don't see bloodshed in this area it's it's, it's a terrible incident because we cannot find eight people killed at the, just in a cold blood Wanyama says there could be other factors at play. We are also investigating the political angle. You are right. It's a part of, we don't want to preempt at this stage that it is this and this. It's just a part of what we are piercing together. Isiolo once a bedrock of conflict has been relatively peaceful in the recent past and the killings of the eight people, it is feared, could reignite clashes in this vast county that is home to five major communities. <laughs> Na tukienda kupiga ripoti kama viongozi wanapuuza 
wanatuambia muliwana namna gani ni wangapi wanatuliza maswali ambayo haiwezi katusaidia The situation is still somewhat volatile here in Garimara area of Isilo County following the death of eight people in the conflict and while the authorities say they're investigating the incident to bring the culprits to book members of the community say they want peace as Isilo County has been relatively peaceful and they want it to remain so Carol Derry KTN in Isilo County